My lab uses genetics and genomics to identify genes that cause brain diseases. And then once we've identified the cause, we use a variety of methods to try to identify the mechanisms. And we believe that that's gonna lead us much more rapidly to development of therapeutics, which is our goal, to ease suffering in brain diseases. Once you have genetics or genomics, it allows you to ask, of all the genes in the genome that I can measure, which are the most associated with the disease? Which are the most dysregulated? Which are the things that are driving this out of everything? Most neurologic diseases, let's say like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's, are defined by pathology that you see in the brain. You can see it on an MRI image, or you can see it under a microscope. Psychiatric diseases like autism or schizophrenia or bipolar don't have that. And so it was thought they have no real defining pathology. The work that we and others in the field have done, we've defined, number one, that autism is a very heritable disorder, that it's very, has huge genetic risk, and we've identified hundreds of genes that cause autism. And then with our genomic methods, we've defined the molecular pathology of autism in the brain. And so that has really changed the way people look at psychiatric disorders, from thinking of them as things that you just diagnose behaviorally. We also work in neurodegeneration and neural repair. Those are two very important areas for us. And one of the reasons they're very important is because I think they're tractable. Because we can now um, make predictions from that analysis about what might prevent neurodegeneration or what might increase a neuron's ability to repair after an injury. What genetics and genomics really means is we're in a totally new world. It's a revolution in terms of the ability to create ther therapeutics for these disorders because previously we had no idea what was really causing them. Now we have a root cause.